Welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today I am super pumped to talk to you about the Vanquish VS410 scale truck. Yes, Vanquish put out a scale truck kit. I hate using that word scale. You'll forgive me. I'm super excited and I can't think of another word to use. Trail truck doesn't seem appropriate. Scaler is an even more hated word. So let's call it a scale truck. I'm gonna go over all of the details with you. I'm trying something a little different today. I've got a GoPro mounted above the workshop bench so we can actually get a top down look at the truck as I talk about it, as I look at it, as I play with it. No, God, please, no, no! There is an awful lot to cover and I'm hoping that this first look gives you a good idea of everything that Vanquish put into this truck. It might not be as comprehensive as Josh's as he was one of the people who was involved in creating this truck, so he certainly will know a lot more about the ins and the outs of it. But I'm hoping to give you more of an enthusiast's look at it and I'm hoping that you get something out of it. If you have any additional questions, by all means, post below. I'm more than happy to answer your questions and I definitely respond to every single comment. There is a lot to cover, so I won't waste a lot of time. Let's dive right into it. This is Vanquish's first scale crawler tire. This is the VXT 4.65 by 1.5 by 1.9 tire. It is made by Vanquish and uh, it has a great pattern. It's nice and aggressive, and you can see that um, there's a lot of lugs even on the uh, sidewall of the tire that should help in those sort of um, situations where you might get bound up a little bit and you might need to have the tire spin up, have it go over an obstacle. There is definitely something very cool going on in these tires and not typically what you might find in a kit or RTR. It's uh, a very nice sticky compound uh, these tires do come, as uh, as you see here, mounted on the incision plastic beadlocks. Uh, keep in mind that there are metal rings, so there is something nice and firm holding that tire onto the wheel. Let's actually uh, take a look at this body real quick. This is uh, a whole new Lexan shell uh, designed by the people at Vanquish. Uh, it's designed with an homage to a international scout or even an early uh, ford bronco i think it looks a lot more like a scout than anything else um, but it definitely has its original lines and is definitely something nice and new to the market we haven't seen anything other than toyotas and jeeps in a very long time uh, defenders as well of course so it's nice to have something unique hitting the market that doesn't look like everything else and it's very cool once painted. Uh, I took some time with this, cut out a lot of my own masks, and painted all of these, uh, these body lines and such. I wanted it to have sort of a, a throwback look to um, the old time uh, 70s and 80s era trucks that always had a really cool stripe pattern on them. So that was my inspiration for that. Uh, what else is nice about this body is that it includes a lot of exterior details. There's the fuel filler there, uh, the door handles, of course, wipers right up front, and um, more importantly than anything is that grill. Look at that thing. That, to me, is really what sells this truck. Despite it being a Lexan shell, it's really nice to have these injection molded details that add another layer of realism. Is it a hard body? No, of course it's not. But is that totally necessary from a kit? I don't know. I don't think so. I think you'd look at a huge jump in price and really, you know, it's very subjective what people like. So one other thing of note is that the body comes pre-cut. It is a laser cut body from the factory. So you don't have to fiddle around trying to get all those curves proper. I know a lot of people have trouble cutting out bodies. I know I certainly do. Even with the score and snap method, it is a bit time consuming and can be complicated. Vanquish has taken that out of the equation and deliver a body that is already pre-trimmed. That's amazing. The Lexan body for me, totally fine for a kit like this. Uh, it is really great and it does come with a nice interior shell too. It's not full depth, but it is, I would say almost three quarter depth. And um, 
Our good friend James at Night Customs had a huge part in creating a lot of pieces that are going to go into this truck. He did uh, the what comes with it, uh, the dash of course, uh, there's a steering wheel, a shifter, uh, some nice three quarter depth seats. You will be able to get a pretty decent driver figure in there and uh, that alone is a great starting feature for any kit that's come out on the market lately. And because it's coming from Knight Customs, you know that there are going to be pieces later on down the road that you can add to make even more of this interior and make it more realistic. So that's very cool and it's very nice to see that uh, Vanquish took the time to uh, think about us scale guys even more. One other thing to mention about the body before we move on, the interior is mounted to the body by way of the door handles. Uh, you can also use double-sided tape to really lock it down in place. Uh, it's nice that they thought that through when they built it. Uh, makes it much easier uh, to have everything stay together and makes a lot less rattling noises when you drive it. That in the injection molded front end here, uh, radiator and radiator fans behind this element. And when I take the body off, I'll show you those things from behind. Um, the light pods are designed to hold a five mil, five mil LED. And uh, if uh, you look closely, they also made this grill compatible with their rigid Q series um, headlights. So uh, very cool that you can install those as stock uh, without any modifications. Of course, they included rear light buckets as well. And uh, it's just nice to have those uh, as an option as well. So very cool that those are included. I'm going to take the body off now and take a closer look at what elements come with this truck on a mechanical level. Also with this body, inner fenders. It's great to have inner fenders. They are Lexan, uh, but they are quite strong, quite firm, and they are mounted uh, quite nicely, so they shouldn't uh, shouldn't flop around very much, which is, uh, which is great. Uh, they're nice, and uh, there's a lot of clearance there. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? And uh, I don't think that uh, they're going to be an issue uh, with any rubbing. Like, I'm, I'm just flexing it all the way to its limits, and it doesn't, uh, doesn't rub in any location so i hate seeing right through a truck so to get these from the factory fantastic there is another quick look at the light buckets and fans on the radiator as well uh, it's nice to have those molded in pieces there's an awful lot going on in this chassis and while i'll do my best to go over all the minutia it's really probably best for me to link to josh's video uh, on his page so you can get a full complete rundown of all the new elements of this truck. Okay, on to the actual truck itself. We're gonna take a look at everything that uh, comes as part of this kit. Um, you'll notice uh, that this does not come with it. This is an axial uh, receiver box from a Wraith, I think it is. Um, and uh, I just wanted to use something that was watertight and would hold my receiver just fine. Uh, I opted to go with uh, electronics from Tekken. I'm running a 3100 kV brushless motor, sensored brushless motor, uh, through the RX4. I'm using the Tekken T360 uh, servo. Uh, you'll notice that the layout is very familiar. It's a center-mounted transmission with the two outputs to a standard uh, setup with a uh, front and rear axle. The ladder frame is uh, stamped steel and it's C-channeled just like uh, you would expect in a scale truck. It is Vanquish's own design and uh, is um, designed specifically to work with these axles. Now uh, we're going to flip the truck over very quickly here. These axles you will notice right away uh, the main thing is a offset front diff. And that's the reason this chassis is designed specifically around these axles, is that it needs to have all of that room for the clearance uh, of an offset diff. It uh, definitely allows for a lot of travel. I think it's a spectacular looking front axle. It, um, it really, really, really looks amazing. It is curry based. It's, uh, it's got a new diff cover. It's a whole new design. Isn't offered separately from Vanquish. This is an entirely new piece designed specifically to work 
on the VS410. The front offset axle, of course, includes Vanquish CVDs or XVDs or VVDs or whatever they call them. Uh, they are of the strong, high strength steel that you would expect from Vanquish, so there shouldn't be any failures there either. Unless you are very, very, very mean to things. Nothing but the ghetto, taking short steps one foot at a time and get my head low. Starting from the top of the chassis and working our way down, these shock towers are injection molded and are Vanquish's own design. The uh, cross braces are also injection molded and are of Vanquish's own design. The skid is injection molded and is also of Vanquish's own design. The servo mount and servo winch mount is injection molded and is of Vanquish's own design. The front and rear bumpers are aluminum and are of course of Vanquish's own design. One thing to mention about that front bumper is that it does include two threaded holes on the top of it. That could be for a one inch light bar. That could also be for a fair lead. I've actually designed one as well. Uh, it's in testing phases at Shapeways. I'd like to see how it turns out before I offer it, but it is something that I will offer on the Scale Builders Guild Shapeways page. The battery tray and electronics plate is all one solid piece of stamped steel and gives you ample room for a 5000 3S pack. You should be able to get any large battery in there and having that weight up front and distributed evenly across both of the frame rails is exactly where you want it. The transmission, yes, looks very familiar. Vanquish opted to go with what they knew was going to work and it's tried and true and offers, of course, a lot of upgrades and options out of the box and from Vanquish themselves. So it made sense to go with something that they knew was going to work straight away. The gears included with the Vanquish transmission are of course incision metal gears and they should hold up to plenty of abuse. A 32 pitch pinion and spur is included. Will we see a front mounted motor and transfer case in the VS410? I can't say for sure. Maybe down the road, maybe in the VS410 too. The sliders on this truck serve two purposes. One, of course, to slide over obstacles. The second is to hold the stock body in place. You'll notice that there is a channel in there and that's designed to hold the body in place. Uh, if we flip the truck over really quickly, uh, you'll see that there is a nice flat piece of Delrin that is included as well. And it uh, transitions very nicely into the aluminum slider. Of course, stainless steel incision links are included. Uh, these are Vanquish's own rod ends, and they include metal balls. The links are a traditional four-link rear and three-link with pan hard up front. Incision steel drive shafts are also included, as well as incision scale shocks. Uh, these are the 90 millimeter shocks, and each kit will come with the soft springs. There is an aluminum mount for the pan hard bar that is included uh, as well, and that um, of course, is much better than plastic. Strength where you need it, I think, was Vanquish's uh, mantra when they put this truck together. You're probably saying, well, these axles, these axles look great, but what's going on inside of them? It is a high pinion, high poid style gear set, which is very similar to what's been offered in all of Vanquish's axles to this point. The main difference being, of course, that these are bolted together with six bolts instead of three. Added strength in the axle where you want it. So ultimately, that's that's basically the layout. And because it's a kit from Vanquish, you get everything you need minus electronics to get this truck up and running. Whether you are intending to use this as a scale trail truck or a comp rig, there is definitely a purpose here and that purpose is to give you the best of everything Vanquish has to offer in one kit. Obviously, my initial impressions are very positive. Vanquish did a lot of thinking here and put together a truck that really, for all intents and purposes, is a top of the line vehicle. Are you paying for that? Absolutely, there's a premium that goes with Vanquish products. That said, if you were to try to put this truck together separately, you'd be spending substantially more to get all of these things in one vehicle. So it's great that they're offering it all as a one-stop shop kit. The way I see it, this truck is sort of like a blue sky, 
hey, if I could have everything Vanquish all in one truck, engineered to go together the way it should from the factory, this is what I would build. I think we're going to see a lot of really cool VS410s with a variety of bodies on them and hopefully some nice detailed interiors as well. With partners like Knight Customs, there is no limit to what could come out of this platform. But I'm very excited to put it to the test. And in fact, I will be running this truck in its stock form at the Team K&K TTC5 coming up in a couple of weeks. I'm really looking forward to that event because there will be another VS410 at that event and it's definitely in the hands of a much better driver so I'm curious to see how well that guy does with that truck. In the coming weeks there will be a running video I'm going to put it through its paces and I will come back with my final verdict on this truck and like I said if you have any questions whatsoever about how this truck is designed or how it was put together or any of the components that come with it by all means post in the comments below I will certainly get to them. My profound thanks to Vanquish for letting the Scale Builders Guild be part of this project. It really is amazing and it's definitely worth taking a look at. If you like upgrading your trucks, maybe check this one out before you do that. There's a lot going on here and there is definitely good value. So with that, I think that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned for more running footage of this truck and hopefully some results from the competition at the K&K TTC. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.